Hello and welcome to Circuitverse. Now Circuitverse is an easy to use digital circuit simulator. And now let's use this tool to build a 7 segment display. Right? So let's let's launch our simulator. Right? So here this is the main body, right? So uh, here we can have, we have the input uh, boxes and then we have the output boxes. You know, people who are very familiar with electronics and you know people who are familiar with uh, say logism you know which is its uh, more popular counterpart right but that is not a web tool while circuit was is a web tool right we will find all these symbols quite familiar to them right so now let's let's start building our uh, seven segment display right so seven segment display is basically an output uh, display so right here so we have an output display and then we have all these uh, accept all which is gonna accept wires for each of these segments that we have here right so now um, so traditionally how you would go about this when you're making your own custom circuit is right so each one of these acceptors right so if you can draw wires out right you see each one of these acceptors is basically an output for lighting up a particular segment so generally the standard practice would be to create a new circuit and then you know you call it say the, you know the top the top left segment you know which say which is the output which we are going to point towards so if i create a top left segment right so then i would be like okay so now start building you know you know start putting input boxes for that so we know that our uh, main circuit here is gonna accept four bits of input right a seven segment display is generally used to display numbers from zero to nine right so then uh, so that that requires four bits so our segment would then require four bits right so then it will have say it will have one bit as an output so then you would you would start building a logic you know suppose if it were the top left segment you know what 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 for what would the top left segment turn on it would turn on for it wouldn't turn on for it would turn on for zero wouldn't turn on for one you know stuff like that so then you would start building and gates and all gates right you you generally would like talk k map try to simplify and you know you have to do that for basically each segment and that that is like the most long winding and and you know the most horrible way to uh build the segment and uh, seven display uh, to build the segment right so now circuit was just like logism right uh, for people who don't know logism just don't worry just use this tool <laughs> so uh, we have a combinational analysis tool right so uh, this is gonna be able to uh, accept a boolean logic table right so okay fine let's let's name us let's name our project as a seven segment display right and then, uh, let's let's use the combination analysis right so our input is going to be four bits so let's use standard names s3 s2 s1 and s0 is going to be the four bits right they also determine the place values of the numbers and we have um, basically seven outputs right so we have the top left segment the top segment the top right segment the middle segment the bottom left segment the bottom segment and the bottom right segment so uh, there we go that's seven outputs and then that's four inputs so then if i click next and here it is so here we we provide the boolean logic table you know generally uh, it's it's basically gonna generate its own came up it's gonna simplify by itself and it'll just generate the circuit for you pretty neat right so then okay so we have to start filling up this table right so we'll fill, start filling it up zero is basically um one 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 zero one 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 and then one goes like uh, zero wait zero oh god right so zero zero one zero 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 one and then two goes like zero one 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 zero the bottom right doesn't light up right so for for three it's gonna be zero one 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 zero one one and then for four it's gonna be one zero wait zero one one zero zero one right so basically i've written down this down so that the process is quite fast you know generally you can just skip the video until i reach this point uh zero one one 
and then for 6 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 right for 6 it's going to be 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 then for 7 it's going to be 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 and then for 8 it's going to be all ones right because in 8 lights up all the displays and then for 9 is going to be all ones except the bottom left segment right and the rest are all basically don't care so just leave it like that so then let's generate our circuit here we go so it's uh generated the circuit and the came up simplification and here we have all the elements so like here we go this input box right so so now let's start connecting all these uh labels to their uh, respective uh, acceptors right so it's just go like okay so this is the top left segment right so this is going to be the top left right so let's see the top left is is it right. this one no, that's the middle segment okay fine um, then that has to be the top left right so that's going to be the top left and of course it must light up for zero i mean our input right now is zero right yeah so then it's going to be the this is the top segment which is the middle top one that you can see so let's connect it to that one that works right so then let's do the top right and then this is going to be the middle which obviously gives zero because of course this is a zero doesn't light up the middle segment right so then we have that and we have the bottom left segment which is gonna uh, basically it uh, has to be this one because one of the segments must be a decimal point right one of the acceptors so it's gonna be that one yep and this is gonna be the bottom segment right um so this is the bottom segment okay okay um okay if i manage to right and then we have the bottom right segment so here we go Take all of this. right so the last one's going to be a decimal point and then let's let's check it out so here we go so that's one that's two that's three and let's make four five that's seven six seven and obviously that's uh this because it's a don't care it didn't change and that's eight that's nine and everything else is going to remain the same so here we have we have built a seven segment display just in less than 10 minutes and uh, using circuit bus. so here you go you know uh, earlier in those uh truth tables i left everything below nine as don't care but of course you can you can configure from a to f you know it would follow the similar procedure that you followed from zero to nine and all that you can just put zeros which you just not light up anything and here you go so here's this is uh, a seven segment display so here you can use this component you know you can just you know store this as a component and then say if i if i create a new circuit you know that says okay um say blah or something and then what i can do is then i can insert it as a sub circuit you know, i'm uh, as of now that contain the main circuits right so then here uh suppose you have processed a number maybe you've added uh, two or three numbers right so then you can uh, feed that output to this and then you can just directly connect all these to the seven segment display and this contains the required logic so if you double click you'll be able to see the uh, logic that's been generated here and uh, yeah so this is how you build a seven segment display in circuit bus.